Yeah, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana, my name is Helen. Feel at home and feel welcome. Kindly don't forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you for always coming back. May God bless you all for the support. So today, guys, uh, we will be preparing something very different. I've never uh, shown you guys or maybe cooked it on, on this channel. Uh, but today we're going to cook it. Have you ever come across such a thing? Well, it's called... Uh, Chayote. Chayote. It's a type of squash that belongs to the guad family. Cucumber. It's it's a uh, ni okay, it's part of cucumbers and melons, which uh, it belongs to the god family along with melons and cucumbers, if I can explain it a bit well. And it has a lot of benefits in our body, as I have mentioned few. Uh, and hope you have seen the benefits that it has in our body. So it's kinda you can uh, you can add this in your in your salad uh, maybe you can just eat it that way but it's a bit it doesn't have taste it tastes like cucumber it's tasteless guys but uh, even if it's tasteless it's good for our body and our health so i wish uh, and hope if you come across uh, such a thing kindly uh, don't forget to buy it because you have never uh, seen it or maybe it ain't it okay this is what we want to cook today. If you look at it at far, it looks like a popo. Yeah. Uh, but again, it has nikama ikona tumiba lakini huwa hazidongi. So this is what I want to prepare today. And so we will be having this. I'll be mixing this with meat. Okay, the thing about this, when you cook it, it, it has that taste of uh, malenge pumpkin but it's not pumpkin it's uh so this is what i want us to prepare today so we'll be preparing this i had so uh, a few days ago i i went to my mom's place and she normally has this so this is where that's where i got this cutting from there and a few of them have cooked them so i decided let me cook this today and show you guys because you might come across such a thing and maybe you don't know if it's eaten what you're supposed to do with it yeah so i want to show you and so over here i have my onion i have carrots and then i was preparing my capsicum green ho ho what what's up with this knife So this, it doesn't have seeds. And guys, I had already washed my haha and carrots and everything. So we are going to use the whole thing. And I've told you guys that I'm mixing this with meat. So my meat, it's, boil, it's boiling. Today just feel like cutting them in that shape. So another thing about this thing, it does take time to cook. But if you love it uh, in, in a crunchy way, then you don't have to cook it a lot for a longer time but if at all you have kids and you want to cook it so that at least your kid can eat it well you will cook it kidogo so there we have them huh? so over here i have my onion one carrot, one capsicum. Again, I'll be using only one tomato. Yeah, one. So let me wash this. Thank you. 
So what I want to do Oops So guys this hair looks inside It's like a cucumber So we'll remove this seed The seed looks this way. So guys, another thing, inashika mikono, inashika, ni kama ndizi. I think this, because so, so for me I don't love cooking it with the skin. So kama uko na ngombe, ukate, then tapatia so if you live in Subukia you might find it people call it uh, cucumber I don't know why I will do a bit of research. So if you if you eat it raw, it, it doesn't have any taste. It's it tasteless. And I think that's why most of the people call it cucumber because okay, as you know cucumber pia high, it doesn't have taste. So I think that's why people So guys make sure you remove everything. So tai chonga to vizuri. So I've said if you have cow, kama kona ngombe zipatie hizi. But since we are not in Shago, tacho tacho. After washing it, then just cut it into whichever shape you love. Let's say maybe you're making salad. You'll just grate it. Because I think when you grate it into smaller uh, sizes, you will be able to eat it and you won't feel uh, the taste. Because I remember my mix na So if you want to treat it, Raw, kindly tengeneze na your salad, and it will be good. So I've cut them into the size of potatoes. Waru. So I've told you guys I'm only using one tomato.
So over here, guys, we have our meat. I was just boiling my meat. So So guys, here it is. And then there I have my meat na my na soup yake. Over here I have green capsicum, I have one tomato, I have onion and then I have carrot, salt, of course cooking oil. Those are the only things that we're going to use today. So let's start cooking. So guys, kwa sufri enyo meboilia meat. Just add enough oil. So next I'll add in my onion. I'm not using a lot of onion today. Because this food is only for one person. So after our onion size, so we will add this. So remember this, I uh, do take a bit of the time to cook, so we'll cook this for a few minutes and then we'll come back. So guys, you see we are just cooking it with onion plain. And so you can see, still it hasn't cooked well. So continue cooking it until it, co it cooks well and then we will add other things. Okay, you see still it hasn't cooked well but at this point now I'm going to add my capsicum hoho and tomatoes and we we'll let that cook and then I'll add in my salt so we we'll let this cook for a few minutes and then we'll come back Guys, we're going to check. <coughs> so since our tomatoes haven't uh, cooked that well, we're going to leave it that way for a few minutes again and then come back. So guys, at this point, I'm going to add in my meat. So to start it, you can then. So guys, our food is ready. So that's it guys. So you see as you can see it has really cooked well. You may have a misery. So guys as you can see our food is ready. Our chayote as it's called or squash. So guys, you can have this with rice as I am having it. Or maybe you can have this with chapo, spaghetti. It's a good stew. You can have it with anything, guys. So don't feel shy to try it. And if you do kindly, let me know on my inbox. So guys, that's it for today's video. Till next time. Bye-bye.